girls welcome or welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you what's in my backpack end of the year edition so this is my backpack it is the north face jester backpack and it's just basically black i've had this backpack for two years now and she's still backing okay like purr let her purr the thread at the bottom is starting to fray a bit and also on the front where there are these straps it kind of broke off of this hole so i mean this backpack's definitely not in perfect condition however you can tell i've had her for a while and i've definitely been using her a lot but yeah i just finished my second year of college and i'm just gonna show you what's in my backpack at the end of my second year i would like to note that there's some things that are currently not in my backpack like my computer and my iPad and my computer charger because those are things I like constantly use every day so they're like on my desk right now instead of being left in my backpack to die. to die. But the reason why I am gonna show you what's in my backpack is because I have not showed you what was in my backpack beginning of the school year so I feel like most of you don't even know I actually have a backpack that I bring to school. Like before I would actually you know like carry all my books by hand and like hunch back and walk to school every day and like hike up seven mountains and swim the seven seas and fly across the Bermuda the triangle but in all seriousness though the main reason why i'm going through my backpack is because summer classes are starting for me next week so i need to clean out my backpack and get ready for those summer classes where i have to return to school and i have to use my backpack obviously because now i'm obviously going to carry my books by hand and crawl so yeah and i just thought i could make it entertaining and y'all could see what's in my backpack because i normally don't show you what's in my backpack let's get started so first in like my very big main pocket i'm gonna zip it open for you to see so this is what it looks like and normally in this like laptop pouch I would put my computer in it but my computer is currently on my desk. So first things first, the first things you probably saw were these folders. This one's red and this one's yellow and they're basically just folders with prongs in them and I have not used both of these folders so I might just save these for my summer classes. I'm taking three summer classes so I guess me having two folders is a head start. I also have like a furry folder as well with a bunch of different furries and this is where I basically keep like majority of my papers so any like handouts and stuff scripts like this for example is my final scene that I had to memorize for my acting class and it's called they fell from the play almost main it's basically about gay best friends so me and my scene partner were gay best friends and just like I have a lot of other papers in here too actually this is a photo my friend took she warned me it wasn't the best because this is for her like photography class and they were so learning how to use the film camera so yeah um this is uh, uh yeah this is the photo i do need to go through this folder later because i do have some important papers that i need to take out and bring with me for the semesters to come i also have another folder this is a black prong folder and this one's actually used this has all of my history notes in them and i took a lot of notes this much to be exact but yeah i just take a lot of notes and i don't know if you can tell but i got an a in this class yeah these are my u.s history notes i also have like my regular notebook here as well it's just one of those notebooks where you could like put your own paper inside and i just have like a bunch of paper here this is where i first had all my u.s history notes and then i took them out of the notebook and put them into the folder i do plan on maybe using this throughout the summer too a lot of this line paper i added in on my own and then there's also like grid paper here too but i haven't really used the grid paper because i'm not taking any math classes and i haven't since my very first semester of college so yeah, this is my notebook. I beat the shit out of her normally. I also have my huge ass pencil pouch, which I don't know if today would be the best time to show you like what the fuck's in my pencil pouch because she is really fat. I don't know if you can tell, but she is huge. Like in like the centermost compartment, I have like a bunch of like highlighters and stuff. One just fall on the floor, let me pick it up. But yeah, no, like I have a bunch of like my liners and pens in here. So like, I don't know how to explain to you what exactly is in here because it's a lot to show. Just know that I'm a stationary whore and I take a lot of notes and this is my writing bump on my middle finger but it may have shrunk a bit because I haven't exactly been writing lately. I still have some stuff left in the big pocket. This is the pouch where I keep all of my markers. To be honest I haven't used my markers all too much at school because I don't really get things to color and I already have a lot of colorful pens in my fat ass pencil.
a pouch. But this is just where all my super tips are. So yeah, they're just super tips. Um, if you don't know what super tips are, they're just colorful markers and they're made by Crayola. So you know they're not toxic and you can eat them or snort them, I guess. Uh, but that's not really the way I fuck with markers. But I'm sure a lot of people like to snort markers. I personally don't. I like to snort cocaine. Actually, I've never done cocaine before, so don't ask me how it is. But I heard it makes you more productive. <laughs> Maybe a little too productive. And last but not least, I have like a hard drive in my backpack that I keep that's technically not mine, but I've been holding on to it for most of the school year. Maybe all of it. Pretty much like this is just the hard drive that my professor gave me that has like a lot of like school stuff on here, like football games and things like that. So I put it all on this hard drive because I do have like a lot of things to edit and stuff because I do like a lot of things at school production wise. So in this hard drive, it's not mine. It belongs to my professors and the TV studio studio but I've been holding on to it for the most part so it's pretty much always in my backpack unless I use it. Alright so the big pocket is emptied and you can probably see the bottom. Now onto the smaller compartment. So this part is a bit messier because everything's everywhere all over the place but first I have my little box of bandages. The brand is called Welly and it has a bunch of different like furries on the box but when you open it there are bandages inside. Like I have like bigger size bandages and smaller size as well. I bought the Welly branded big box of bandages and I just use the box as like a container to keep all my bandages in. I already used up all of the dog themed bandages so yeah it's just the box I'm using as a container for like my other bandages. Alright so next I have a pack of gum in here. Alexa stop. I don't know why she started playing music, but at least she knows what music I fuck with. Anyway, this is just the pack of gum I have. It's um in this little container, and the gum itself looks like little cubes. I've learned to have gum on me because, honestly, when I'm doing something really badass and I chew gum, I feel even more like a badass and I feel so mysterious, so that's why I have gum. But also, if I just need to like hyperfixate on something, I don't know, like if I need to fidget while I do my homework, like I just chew gum, and that kind of helps. Next, I have a pack of index cards. Surprisingly, I have actually used these in class, but not necessarily to study. I just use them in the studio in case I need to. I don't even fucking know. I, I just have these in my backpack in case I need to use index cards. Inside there are actual index cards, but um, yeah, I don't use these that much, but I just keep them on me in case I need to use them. But yeah, my index cards. Next, I also have a pair of scissors. Surprisingly, I've actually used these scissors a good amount at school. These are just pink and sparkly, and these have been sitting in my backpack for probably the past two years. Whenever I need a pair of scissors, I could just open my backpack and I have them. So yeah, they actually do come in handy. I forgot the last time I used them, but I definitely do use them at school. I have like another flash drive in here. It kind of just like pulls out like this, but um, anyway. When I'm in the studio and I need to load some graphics onto the computer, for example, I just put my graphics onto a flash drive and then I bring the flash drive to the studio where I plug it in and load it onto the computer. So yeah, I actually do use this flash drive a good amount. Next, I have a bracelet I made for myself that says my name and then a heart on it. It's just like a club bracelet that I made for my club board members that I was vice president of, but I think now I actually am president this upcoming year. Yeah, it's just a bracelet. And then I have like even more club bracelets that I just give out for no reason. I gave these out as like a prize for a Halloween film festival. Yeah, they just have the club name on them. And these are just leftover bracelets that just sit in my backpack. Even more leftover bracelets, I'm not so sure. I have some post-its in here. I put song titles on this one. I think this was from my audio class when we had to make like a mixtape of some sort. So I just wrote down the songs I wanted to put in my mixtape and they were all Taylor Swift. And then I have another size post-it and it's smaller. But yes, these are the post-it brand. Don't play like I'm not gonna miss brand sticky notes for like the better brand. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, I do have post-its in here and they're pretty useful actually. If I need to write down a note in the studio, for example, I use my post-its and I do that. I also have 
have a, I have no idea what this is, but it's been sitting in my bag for I don't even know how long. I might throw this in the trash. I don't know how long it's been sitting in my backpack. Oh, I have even more candy. I have like Starburst and Laffy Taffy, but they've been sitting in my backpack for a while because they're really wrinkled up. I also have my camera film refill for my Instax camera that's in my car at the moment, but I haven't gotten her to work again. I think she's broken, but I still have like a refill pack in my backpack. I also have a Sharpie B because sometimes you want some things to be permanent, like a permanent girlfriend. So that's what Sharpie B is for. Also, I have my personal hard drive here. So this is where like I put my personal photos in, but I need to update it and put more personal photos in here because my desktop is so messy on my computer. And then I have some like trash and stuff. I also have a random ass dime. So... 10 cents richer. Also, my wallet's normally in here, but my wallet's downstairs. It's like sitting by the door right now. But yeah, my wallet is pretty heavy. She's pretty thick, so um. Anyway, in the smaller pocket, I have these kind of like netted areas. So in this part of my pocket, I have Touchland hand sanitizer. So it's just hand sanitizer, but bougie. I actually do use this a lot. I also have some lip balm, and this is just Mario Badescu brand. For sure, things like the hand sanitizer and lip balm, they're going back in my back because they're actually things I use a lot at school. But yeah, this one's just like mint flavored. My lips do get like hella chapped at school, so I always have lip balm on me. In this compartment, I have Captain America. This used to live on my backpack, but then it fell off, so I kept it inside my backpack. And I also have another flash drive here, so yeah, I always make sure to keep some flash drives on me in case I need to load anything from like at home or my personal computer onto like the computer in the studio. And flash drives were like pretty useful for my audio production class where I load tracks onto a flash drive and then I was able to use a flash drive in class and make mixtapes or whatever we were doing and like use my own music for that. Last but not least in my smaller pocket is the zip up hidden compartment where I keep all of my pads and stuff. So I actually have like a lot of pads and this one specific one in fact says fuck on it. Like okay fuck. I'm celibate right now so I can't really use this but um I mean if you're ever trying to like hit on a girl just write fuck on the pad and give it to her when she's on her period because you know she's gonna use it don't get me wrong i have it i don't want to fuck myself in that sense but you know if you're trying to fuck someone else do this like you'll get the message out really clear but yeah i did this for um one of my friend's short films like i don't know how to really explain the lore here because it was originally my lore and then i just did the same thing in one of my friend's short films for the same professor and he ate that shit up so but yeah i have like pads liners i have like tampons too like i just have like a bunch of feminine products that i just keep stashed in my backpack for in case i need it or anyone i know needs it so you know if you ever see me around and you know i, I have a backpack on me and you need like a feminine product like I got you girl just ask me I know that doesn't really sound like a girl's girl in me the way I'm explaining this but I'm more than willing to like help a girl out I also keep pads in my car as well like honestly any bag I have on me will definitely have a stash of period products in there so just hit me up if you need anything like even if I hate your ass I will still offer you one because I just think that sometimes you just have to have other girls back when it comes to something as vulnerable as like bleeding out your coochie you know your lady bitch or whatever. See, I'm just gonna put everything back in here because honestly, like, no matter the season, I always need to have period products in my backpack. <laughs> And yeah, that is it. That's everything that's in my backpack, at least at the end of the school year. I was expecting to see a lot more trash, but I don't really think that was the case. I think definitely high school self would have a lot more trash in her backpack. But I think in college, trash cans are just a lot more accessible, so yay me i also have like two side pockets for like water balls and stuff so normally i have like my water ball in one and my umbrella in the other but anyway that is it i hope you all enjoyed this video after i end this video i'm gonna put honestly everything back into this backpack maybe take out a few items because i don't need them for summer school but yeah i am now gonna pack my backpack for summer classes that will start in like three days so yeah i hope to see you all in the next video next time or next week i feel like i'm ending this video really awkwardly but um yeah bye whores have a good one peace